What's up everybody, welcome back to Casual Lab. I'm going to show you all the different stages in a jewelry stall in Roblox Jailbreak 2023. The J store had been revamped quite a while ago and it became slightly harder, especially for the new players. The J store will always reward $5,000 if you have the full duffel bag. There are 6 different stages in J store right now and they are always chosen at random. I am labeling them from 1 to 6 so that we can differentiate them but only one stage is chosen at random per robbery. The first two floors are always the same. You will break the display glasses to start the robberies. The third and fourth floors are the ones that will be implemented with one of the six random stages but we will come back to that shortly. The fifth story is always the same, just a simple floor with lasers on the ground. Let's go back to the third and fourth story where the focus of this video is on. Let's just keep in mind that there are six random stages on the third and fourth floor. The first one is easy. You basically have to crawl past this room while avoiding the moving lasers. The lasers are not that fast, so you will be able to crawl past it easily. The next room has multiple lasers going on, including this one at the door. You want to run all the way and rest on this table right before the last moving laser. Jump to the exit of the room once the last moving laser is clear. The next stage has these white circular lasers moving around. They are faster than they look. Don't get greedy and try to speed past the area. You may get caught in it. Play it safe and you will be able to clear this room. The next room is even harder. There are multiple lasers sweeping the room including one at the corridor of the entrance. So you cannot wait outside the entrance. You will have to wait somewhere here. Run inside the room and hide at this corner when it is cleared. Okay, the hardest part is over. Look at the two remaining moving lasers and plan carefully before rushing to the exit. Let's move on to the third stage. This is the hardest in my opinion. Not only are there so many lasers on the ground, there is a moving laser sweeping the room. You want to stand on the handrail first as there are no lasers that can touch you. Once the moving lasers have passed, jump carefully onto the display case in the middle and run on it. Exit the room and another difficult room is waiting ahead. The sweeping laser is annoying enough and there are these lasers that appear and disappear at intervals. If you are not experienced in dealing with at least two obstacles, this might be a little difficult for you. Furthermore, the lasers are not synchronized and that means opportunities open up by one of the lasers might be foiled by another. You want to stand on the monitors while waiting for the next set of lasers to be switched off to be very safe. There were a few times when I stood on the table but my foot touched the lasers. Run past this section when the lasers are switched off. Just a word of warning, the lasers reappear very quickly and they are very wide range. So don't stop midway and don't be greedy and try to clear the section while the lasers have been switched off for a while. Before we move on, I would really appreciate it if you can hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell and like this video to support the channel. On to the fourth stage. This room is pretty hard. There is a moving laser sweeping the room and the static lasers are placed very tightly in your path. I don't think there is an easy way to clear this but you just gotta be more careful and jump when the sweeping laser approaches you. You might find this room difficult if you have trouble managing two concurrent obstacles at once. Fortunately, the next room is much more forgiving. There is a moving laser at every half a segment. Just play it safe and you will be fine. On to the next stage. This stage is much easier. Just hide between the corridors and you will be safe. The next room is not too difficult too. There are 4 moving lasers and like the previous stage, play it safe and don't be greedy and you will be fine. But I should warn you that the thick static lasers on a wall can one shot you. You may want to walk instead of running in this room. Okay, this is the last stage. It is not very difficult, a zigzag path with two circular lasers sweeping the room. Wait for the lasers to clear before proceeding. 
not too hard. The next room looks hard but it's not. There are multiple lasers moving around but they only move in one axis in an alternate fashion. Just go around one of the lasers and you should be fine. Last but not least, you should always bring a donut along with you when you rob the J store. Things can go ugly very quickly. If you don't have a donut, just wait for a while to heal naturally. But don't be too anxious in clearing the stages. Haste make waste. If you miss the robbery from the first floor, you can also enter from the roof when it is being robbed. But that is also the spot that cops will be waiting for you. Most of you may know this already, but for the new players, you will need to deliver the loot to the criminal base to complete the J-Star robbery. So that's it for today's video. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Remember to turn on that notification bell too. Bye!